First of all, ano nga ba ang monkeypox? And although we are perhaps entitled to panic after the recent pandemic traumas, should we be worried? We should not panic, we should not be worried because I think this is more manageable, more controllable compared to that of COVID-19. Monkeypox is an infection caused by a virus that is under the family Orthopox virus. So this family also included chicken pox and measles. It also include the smallpox. Ang mga sintomas nito ay kagaya rin ng sa smallpox pero hindi kasing lala. Kasama riyan ang lagnat, sakit ng ulo, pananakit ng katawan, exhaustion, at rashes. 7 to 14 days ang incubation ng virus pero maaaring tumagal ng 5 to 21 days. It can affect the brain. We call that encephalitis. It can also cause respiratory tract infection and can have both a viral pneumonia and a bacterial pneumonia. But there's a possibility that this complication can cause death, especially to the vulnerable population. Isang uri ng zoonotic infection ang monkeypox. So ito yung parang condition where in a virus has the ability or has already jumped to another set of hosts. So from animals to humans. So on dito ang nangyayari. A lot of the, the outbreaks have been described as zoonotic. WHO actually has listed priority diseases that have the potential to become epidemic or pandemic. All of these are zoonotic as well. The monkeypox reservoir remains unknown. But scientists suspect that the primary hosts are rodents. So, paano ito nakakahawa? Pwede itong makuha sa galos, kagat, o pagkain ng kontaminadong karni ng hayop na apektado ng virus. It's highly contagious because it is transmitted through respiratory droplets. So, meaning by coughing, by talking within three feet, or even touching the patient's skin lesions if you have break in the skin or if you have sexual contact with that particular person who is having the infection. Monkeypox is usually rare. What's unusual ay ang pagsulpot nito sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo at once. Hindi pa malinaw kung paano nakuha ang virus ng mga pasyente but the spread suggests community or person-to-person -person transmission. Sa UK, nakumpirma ang unang case ng monkeypox noong May 6, 2022. Sa mga sumunod na linggo, dumami ang reported cases ng disease across Europe, including countries like Spain and Portugal. Belgium became the first country to introduce compulsory quarantine, while France, Italy, and Germany confirmed cases around mid-May. Sinundan nito ng mga kaso sa Netherlands, Austria, Israel, and Switzerland. Kasabay ng pagkalat nito sa Europe ay ang mga outbreaks din sa Canada, United States, at Australia. Wala pang confirmed cases ng monkeypox sa Asia, pero na-detect ito sa Thailand sa isang air transit passenger mula Europe patungong Australia kung saan ito nag-develop ng symptoms. Nito lamang June 1st, isa pang pasahero na galing ring Europe ang nag-transit naman through Singapore papuntang Australia ang nagpositibo sa monkeypox. There are currently no reported deaths in the US or Europe at wala pa rin naiitala o pinaghihinala ang kaso sa Pilipinas. WHO described the risk to public health as moderate dahil sa bagong pattern ng transmission at madaling pagkalat nito. But the organization will also convene an emergency committee on June 23 to determine kung dapat bang i-consider na global health emergency ang kasalukuyang outbreak. Ito ay dahil sa unusual behavior at geographic spread nito na kailangan ng coordinated response. Hindi pa ganun kalaki ang mga affected. No? So, there's a possibility na magiging epidemic proportion siya, but I don't think yung epidemic proportion niya as wide as COVID-19. Nananatili namang 3 to 6% ang case fatality ratio, habang ang recovery rate... Most of the time, ang recovery rate nito is talagang mataas, no? So, more than 80% ang recovery rate nito. So, at least ang 20% na yan, yun yung may mga komplikasyon. Ang monkeypox 
sa kasalukuyan ay walang gamot. No? So, ang pagtrato nito in terms of treatment is mainly supportive. So, halimbawa may lagnat, bibigyan ka ng paracetamol. Kailangan ng linisan lang yung rashes na hindi magka-superimpose sa bacterial infection. So, kailangan ka lang ma-isolate sa isang hospital or sa isang room para hindi ka na rin makahawa at i-monitor doon sa mga komplikasyon